What's up everybody, James here with Squatch Bikes. Today we're gonna to give you a how-to on something a little bit more difficult but super useful on the trails, and that's manualing. Being that it's a little bit more difficult, Pat was actually pretty happy to pass this off on to Will. Will actually works at Squatch Bikes, he's a great rider, and we were pretty surprised at how good he is at manualing and explaining it. So, without any more, let's roll the intro. Welcome to Squatch Bikes. So would you teach me how to manual? Yeah, I'll give it a shot. Okay, we're gonna try. I'm still gonna fail, but at least together, hopefully we can teach you how to do it too. Okay, Will, so what's step one? Uh, step one, we're gonna focus on standing in our aggressive riding stance. Okay. And we're gonna drop our hips straight down behind the saddle. I think I can do that. Am I lifting the front end at all? No, not at all. Okay, just putting my hips where they need to be. Just hit hips straight down. Deal. Straight down. You're going back. I should just be Think going straight, straight down. Straight down behind the saddle. But what do I do with my arms though? I'm not sure what to do with my hands. I can't figure that out. As soon as I go down, my arms go like this and I go back. You're hitting, so think of it as a right angle, okay? Okay. You're hitting the hypotenuse. You're going from here back here. We want to go straight down and hit that right angle and create that lift. College words. So I need to go this way, not this way. Correct. How far down should I be going? Saddle height or lower? Just a little lower. A little lower than get saddle Get nice height. and behind it, because when you get back in that position, that saddle's gonna come up in front of you. So, I could probably bend my knees a bit more and fall right there, right? Exactly. Okay, I'm gonna try that. Don't keep that front wheel down. Is it better at least? Yeah, a little better. But then you started thinking about the front wheel and then it came up a couple times. Okay, what's the next step? So step two, is we're gonna go straight down and then we're gonna hit that straight back motion. So rather than going back at an angle, you go straight down, yep. then straight back. Yep. Are you pushing with Just, your legs forward? Exactly. Okay. Once we hit that straight down, we're gonna, that's what's causing us to go straight back. We push with our legs forward and that bike is gonna come up in front of us. So it's just like when you wheelie, you put the back wheel underneath you rather than lift the front end? Exactly, exactly. Okay. And we're creating that lift by pushing our legs forward and pushing our, our pelvis straight back. Okay, let's see it. Um, it's at this point that your that front wheel is going to start to come off the ground a couple inches or so. Like, you want the front end to come up just a little bit. Exactly. Once you start driving those hips straight back, the front wheel can't help but just come off. The so ground I want to come up and then put it back down. Not trying to stay there yeah, right now. Yeah, we're not right? trying to stay there right now. Okay. Down, back, front wheel comes up a little bit, and I'm still holding with my shoulders pretty tight, right? Exactly. Okay. I'll give it a go. Oof. There you go. So as soon as I push my hips back, really I'm pushing forward with my feet, the bike really just wants to come up. Exactly. It's starting to come too fast. It went, yep. woo. It'll catch you off guard, but you're, you're really pushing that, you're pushing yourself back, but in turn you're pushing the bike forward and it's gonna come up into that manual position. What happens if I go too far? So you can always bail off the back like that, or when in doubt, just like the wheelie, Yeah. your rear brake is your friend. Okay, all right, so then what's our next step? Um, getting it up there and holding it there. Getting it up there and holding it there. Well, I did a few manuals. You did. You kind of held it, so it looks hard. I guess this is the the worst part, is that you just have to try it a whole bunch of times. Practice makes perfect. Well, I'm sorry that I'm not very good at it. You'll get there. Okay, he's got faith in me, but I really don't, so I'll give it 110%. And I'll... That's not a manual! I'm doing it, right? No! Yay! So I can just sit right to... there, but as soon as I stand up, it's gone. Wow. That counts, right? No, that doesn't count. That's not a manual. I'm sorry. Don't be sorry, just be better. Oh. <laughs> Look at that! Dude! <laughs> okay, so I wanna find out if it's speed or technique. So I'm gonna slow it down this time and see if I can do it or if it's way harder. Oh, wow. wow. Much harder, that's good. Will, thank you very much for helping me. I've been no wanting problem, that for man. years. Uh, now go out there and give it a try. So let's talk about how to apply the manual to the trail. A really good way to use the manual as a skill set is to avoid larger holes with your front wheel, like what we have right in front of us, kind of a muddy washed out gully. 
I'm gonna show you guys that you can pull right before, kind of just let the back wheel hit it and then settle down on the other side safely rather than taking all that impact with the front wheel. Here we have this quiet, clean, serene, small little stream waiting to ruin your day and get your bike and your face all wet. We won't be having that. I'm gonna show you how you can use a manual to come down, lift the front wheel and avoid getting wet. I'm like a cat on a bike, I don't like getting wet. I'll show you how it works. That works too. A manual can be used to stop your front wheel from hitting something like a log. Just expect that if you manual into something, it's gonna bump that back wheel and it can send you a bit forward. So you'll see that I leaned a little bit farther back this time. 